It is the season for proposals. Nearly half of all engagements take place between November and February. So ring styles have changed greatly over the decades. And here with What's Trending is Matthew Treadle from The Wedding Guys. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. It is engagement season, so um, there's here lots of new trends, and we're <laughs> super excited as people are um, getting ready to propose. Okay, okay, let's start with the bling. Yeah, we have, uh, you're starting yellow gold is making a huge comeback. It is. Um, everything is kind of going back to classics and weddings, and so we're seeing a lot of trends um, transition to that. So yellow gold is definitely becoming more popular again. Um, white gold had kind of been the, the mainstay for a really long time. We're seeing the yellow gold um, come into fashion. The other thing that has become really popular is the oval setting mm -hmm. or the oval stone. Yeah. Um, that was a little bit more traditional. Just a few years ago that represented about 4% of the engagement ring. Um, now it's about 20%. Huh? So that's a huge amount of growth. Okay, let's talk in that next thing you're seeing is twisted bands. So yes. that's this one right so here. So I love this guy. Um, because on the side, um, what you can see is it's actually a twisted oh. band of diamonds with a twisted band of gold. You can see gold. a close-up there, too. Yeah, there's a, there, yeah. there's a closest. Isn't wow. that really great? Yeah, these are beautiful um, engagement rings from Arthur's Jewelers. Okay, and rose gold, uh, big, I think it was probably the 80s. Um, you're saying the oval shape is still really popular and that the setting. Yes, the um, uh, oval halo. stone um, has become really popular again and the halo setting is really um, kind of glamorized that as well and, and adding that with the rose gold is, is a really beautiful look. Almost a little bit more vintagey. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. That, I mean, that's a beautiful ring. Uh, next up, a two-tone ring. What do, what do you mean by yeah, that? Yeah, so this one's really interesting in the fact that the diamonds are all set in a white gold but then the interior of the ring is actually a rose gold. Oh. Huh. So you get that kind of two-tone yeah. effect as you look at the side of the ring. It's beautiful. Just look yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just put that right on. Look at it. It's your size. I need a, wow. a manicure. Look but yes. Okay, I'll, just, I'll hang on to this just for a little bit. I love it. Okay. Very sparkly. Yeah, yes. I need mine clean. Whoopsies. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so we're moving on um, now to the men's. And, and now, for instance, they uh, are using all kinds of materials. I know. It used to be a simple gold band. Now you can basically do anything that you want, which is really, really great. I love um, the collection that we brought today from Jewelry by Johan because they can basically customize customize any sort of material, which is really cool. Um, one of my favorite um, pieces is this one has meteorite in it and fossilized dinosaur bone. This is bonkers. Like, like I mean, this is so cool. So but, like, awesome. So you basically say, do they have options you can choose from? Yes, and so you can choose width and style. Um, they even have some where you can actually interchange, so they the rings screw apart, and you can put different modules really? <laughs> together, which is really cool. Okay, that's really neat. Um, uh, the next one For too. the hunter, antler, and ironwood, which is really cool. So they have antler options, but if you're a hunter and you have an antler that you want to make into a ring, they will actually take your antler or other materials and actually make your custom ring from your own materials. Wow. That's a great, which is you really could, cool. You can incorporate whatever, maybe a hobby or, or your business into so the ring. Let's say you have a love of music. This one has a guitar string, vinyl, and wood. All incorporated. Isn't that, that is sweet? Super cool. The oh, detail wow. on that is so cool. That is so special. And okay. then finally, we have a uh, black zirconium and meteorite, and um, the meteorite is in the center, and you can kind of see the, the difference of what you can do. This one also has meteorite, but it's a double band on the outside, and this one has meteorite in the center. You well, let's talk, oh, sorry, let's talk price. We, didn't, we haven't really touched on that, and, and these are obviously really custom made. What kind of a difference are we talking about as far as these rings, like men's rings, which are now, I would, I would imagine the price is going up. You know, um, it's really amazing. You can really get done some beautiful custom work for like starting kind of under $1,000 okay. and it kind of goes up from there depending on the materials. It really is material dependent. Sure, sure. Uh, you are also seeing too that you're seeing more engagement rings, engagement bands for men. Yes, so we, men are wearing. we are seeing that happen as well, which is really cool. And I think because there's a lot of different options now um, that's adding to that trend, people want to have their ring earlier, you know, okay. and symbolize the fact that they are getting married. Sure. Okay, and then um, many people are like kind of repurposing their family heirlooms and putting those into yes. the rings. Yes, um, so that is a really popular option. Um, a lot of vintage pieces are, are being transformed into uh, um, doing different settings with them or just even changing out the bands um, and utilizing the original setting. Um, so this is a really beautiful vintage ring. 
Love that. This is also and something that we were talking about when you caught us coming in from the commercial break that we were talking about this. Kind of a, a change in the guard in the sense of it used to be the engagement ring was kind of the showstopper. And then the uh, wedding band was more of the, you know, smaller kind Utility. of subdued. Yeah. <laughs> people are flipping. Now they're it. flipping. So a lot of people are going with a, a basic, more solitaire ring um, for the engagement and then doing a really ornate band, um, which is really cool. The other thing that's also changed in the industry is lab created diamonds. Mm -hmm. um, people get, um, they're about 60% less expensive um, than the traditional mine diamonds. Mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting. Um, Arthur's was mentioning that just a few years ago, uh, the lab created diamonds um, represented a small fraction of the diamonds that they sold now it's about 80 percent wow people are can get a much larger stone it's all the same otherwise um environmentally too yeah, yeah and i it, think yeah. That that's part of the yeah. reason t as well that people want them you know made in the lab as opposed to mining right. exactly right. so it's a, it's the best of both worlds you're going to get a better diamond bigger diamond um and uh, you're going to save a little dust bit of money. Sure. The other nice thing about right now, because it is kind of that engagement ring season, there are lots of promotions going on. Okay. Um, so um, I know both of um, Jewelry by Johan and Arthur's Jewelers um, are having promotions and we've listed them on our wedding at the weddingguys.com slash deals. Okay. Um, so people can take a look at all this kind of special offers. Everybody's looking always for a, a special discount or a special promotion. So, uh, yeah. so they can and, definitely check that out there world, too. in this world, any money you can save, you should save it. For uh, sure, Matthew, right? thank you so much. We appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, for more wedding tips and planning tricks, you can visit theweddingguys.com.